It's actually uh, an interesting compare. It's actually an interesting comparison, I think, by the creator, the creators of this game, where um, the intention behind Haven was to create a game. It was taking elements of Journey and Persona and mixing them together. The reason why I say that's interesting is because, in that regard, it is kind of similar to another particular game, one that was trying to incorporate elements from Persona. But and I have played that and Haven, and I have to say. Haven is the more passionate project. And what's interesting about it is that even without being what told that this friends? game is like, it, it takes elements from Journey and Persona and combines them together, like, it is good enough to be on its own. A lot of this is very much different compared to Persona, and the exploration is fairly different compared to Journey. Like, you can tell there's like very much inspired elements from those games, but they're different and distinct enough to be their own thing. That's what I like about it. This game has a much better overall, a much better like story and characters compared to the other game that tried to do something similar with Persona. That other game was Yandere Simulator. Now I'm not gonna get into the whole stuff about the creator. Say shit like pretty much everyone else has said about it and whatnot. I just will say what I don't like about Yandere Simulator compared to other games, including Haven is that, okay, there is a number of things, but I guess my one biggest concern is the fact of the idea of choice is non-existent. And what I mean by that is essentially like, the game is supposed to essentially be like Hitman met Persona, but the thing about it is that it felt more like, instead of taking elements of uh, Hitman and Persona and incorporating them into both of them, it felt more like it was just kind of cut and paste. And on top of that, it, it felt more like you know, only one option of gameplay in Yandere Simulator was the right option. And that's why I fucking hate. Like, I hate when games that quote unquote give you the illusion of choice and like the ability to do play how you want to play and whatnot fucking deceive you and that you only have one particular option of playing the game. In Hitman, you have different options in order to how to go about completing the mission. And Persona, even in the combat of Persona, or even in the dating sim segments of Persona, you have, like, choices at your fingertips. You don't have to do, like, all this other stuff. You don't have to establish social links. You don't have to fight every single shadow that comes your way. It doesn't like, work. That's why I think those games are really good. It's like, yeah, you don't have to do it. You can if you want to, but you're not, like, the game doesn't force you to do it. That's the thing. Like, unless it's, like, a tutorial, the game doesn't force you to play through specific ways of playing. I think, uh, like, ultimately, when I heard about how this game was essentially, like, you know, it, it's Journey meets Persona, I could definitely see it. Like, the difference between why I like this game over Yandere Simulator in that regard is the idea of choice is evident here. I could choose to cook, or I could choose to do other stuff around here, or just chill, or just go to bed. Like, there's other stuff here that I'm capable of doing, like, my gameplay is not necessarily going to look the same compared to what other people play. And I like that. It makes it feel like my gameplay is specifically my own. 